Hey guys, welcome back to the Monolith to Microservice Golang project series. Now we have this interfaces folder in our orders folder, in our payment folder, in our shop folder. All of them have interfaces. For the orders folder in the interfaces, you want to create again two new folders. So the first folder is going to be called private and the other folder is going to be called public. Inside the public folder, you want to create another package, another folder, sorry, called HTTP. And you want to close off all the files that you have opened up right now. And you want to open up this HTTP and then obviously, since this is the interfaces for orders, the file inside HTTP is going to be called orders.co. And this will have your route related logic for the uh, for the orders. Now it's of package HTTP, right? Belongs to the HTTP folder. You will import the net stash HTTP package, and you'll have a function for add routes. Add routes is going to have router dot post. We'll have the routes for orders basically. So orders and router dot get slash order slash ID slash paid this is for your get getting paid that means your order has been paid right and uh, now you're you must be asking what is this resource so resource is nothing but your orders resource which is a combination of service and repository Okay, and orders resource is nothing but a struct, which is a combination, like I said, of service and repository. So it's a service, it's a repository, and service is of type application dot order service, and repository is of type orders dot repository. And here in your add routes function, what all can you expect? You can expect um, router, which is of chai.mux or kai.mux, however you want to pronounce it. You can expect service, which is of application.order service type. You can expect repository, which is of type orders.repository. And after your orders resource, you'll have function for post and for get paid. So these both these functions will be there. So the post function will basically not be just a function, it'll actually be a struct method of type orders resource. And post will have W, which is response writer and request. We'll create a new variable called request, which is basically post order request. So we'll say post order request. Now post order request itself is going to be a struct. So let me first copied paste it here and let me also create a post order request also type post order request which is of type struct and this will have a product 
ID. Forward underscore ID. And we'll have an address which is a type post order address. Okay. <clears throat> Now comes the question, what is post order address? So post order address, again, is a struct. So we'll have to define that. So it's a type post order address, again, is a struct, which will have name and JSON version. The Field is going to be called name. You have street, you have city, postcode, and here, and you have country. Okay, so in your post function method that we are creating out here, we will say render dot decode r comma request, which is a post order request. Proctor ID and address, and we will check for error. So we'll say if error is equal to and error is not equal to nil. Render dot render double comma r comma common HTTP dot error bad request. Okay. So common HTTP uh, is obviously going to be your common inside that the HTTP package. Okay. So we'll, we'll work about the entire importing things in some time. Uh, but this is your error and then you have your CMD, which will be equal to application dot place order command, which will have your order ID and your product ID and address. So these three things essentially order ID is going to be orders dot ID UUID dot new v1 dot string. So creating a new ID of type string per comma product ID is basically your request dot product ID comma your address is application dot place order command address request dot address. Okay. And the last thing that will happen here will be place order and you'll pass CMD there, place order command to place the order. And you want to check for the error when you do this. So you'll say if error is equal to place order and error is not equal to nil. So say render dot render w comma r comma common HTTP dot error internal. And the next line you want to say return. And at the end, you just want to uh, write header with status OK. Post orders response. Now, post orders response again is something that we'll have to create. So let's say order ID string cmd dot order ID. So post orders response, right? Um, 
that will be created here so we'll say type post orders response so type struct and you just get back the order id and that's what we did out here just has an order id right okay so um, application is your package orders and application this is the package application that we've imported out here and this will have access to your orders service struct and we'll create that okay and then you created your own structs like orders resource post order request post order address and post order response that were used in these functions so most importantly you created these routes orders and orders uh, paid which basically call up these two functions post and get paid the post function does quite a bit and the get paid function also uh, actually let's let's do one thing let's actually finish our uh, get paid function also so it'll all make sense but before i do that before i do the get paid function i have to create a new struct called order paid view which is a type struct and we'll have id so type string and json it looks like this id and then you have is paid which is boolean which is a type is paid and the function which is actually a method of type orders resource is going to be called get paid we'll have w which is http.response writer and r which is request and we'll use r dot repository dot by id orders dot id chai dot url param r comma id it's order from errors So you'll first get that order by ID and then you'll make it paid. Now you'll have to handle this error also. You'll handle the error, you'll say render dot render w comma r comma common http dot error bad request. everything went well you'll say render dot respond to the comma order paid view now order paid view being the uh, struct that you created which will have id and is paid both of these things so i order paid view style you'll say string order dot id comma order dot paid all right so this is your orders file. So I'll leave this video here itself because there's a lot to digest, a lot of information. We've created almost completed our orders file. We just need to, uh, we have a lot, a lot of quick lines because we need to import a lot of packages, right? So we'll have to worry about those in a while. So for now, um, thanks a lot for watching and I'll see you in the next episode.